people have these big goals, these big dreams that they're too scared to go after, and they go to the grave with them. I went to my first two ships for four years, went on one deployment per ship. Well, like Emmett Smith, Michael Jordan, come to our sport and become an owner. But the story of how Jesse Wuji got interested in motorsports, you mentioned he played for the Naval Academy, college mm -hmm. football. They came to Charlotte back in 2006 and played in a bowl game. Well, they took the football players out to Charlotte Motor Speedway and gave them some laps around a mile and a half racetrack. He was hooked. He said, I love motorsports. Now, he started out going in a straight line drag racing. <laughs> Eventually, it turned into oval racing, and here he is making a full start in the Xfinity Series schedule in 2022. I just kept on having this vision of me racing in the Cup Series and walking out to driver intro when I was on the ship on deployment. I made that decision on deployment that, hey, NASCAR was where I was going to go. Take me back, because I know you played football growing up throughout your life go to the U.S. Naval Academy, play there, graduate, and then you go into the service for seven years. So what caused you to take a left turn into racing? I've always liked cars, I've always liked racing, but when I was growing up as a kid, um, I didn't see anyone who was like me racing, but I saw people like me in football. I looked up to Emma and I was like, that's the number I'm going to be. I've been the only person who's been in the Navy, African-American, and also racing in NASCAR. Everything that he's done in the military, he's now putting into a car. <laughs> this work ethic is is something that I've never seen before. I would get these calls and text messages like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning from Jesse, and I'd say, man, what are you doing? And he'll be in his racing simulator at 1.30 in the morning. He'll spend any amount of time, any amount of effort to achieve his, his ultimate goal. Daytona International Speedway, just three years after being on the ships, is pretty amazing. All right, gentlemen, first and foremost, can you let me know how this partnership between you two came about? We've been talking about developing a team, having ownership in NASCAR. And it was just, he was the number one person in our mind. We're like, you know what? He wants to see the same change we want to see. He wants to diversify sports in general and motorsports. Emmett, you know, there's been so many celebrity owners coming into the sport, from Michael Jordan to Pitbull. What drew you into NASCAR? This man here and the opportunity. I've been around it a lot in terms of Troy. We used to have, a Roger Staubach used to have a NASCAR team as well. And I think that's where I come into play in terms of my years experience playing for the Cowboys and, and being in the marketing space as well as in the entertainment space, being able to take some of those things and, and help Je Jesse navigate through it all. You start learning that you really got to surround yourself with great people. You start feeding off of it and you start going places on the ships. I learned that that was necessary to become part of the team because if I kept on doing my own thing, then the team wouldn't work. And if the team doesn't work, equipment breaks, people get hurt. Second. The people who are like-minded with you, they'll push you to, to stay on course. It shaped me a lot. I mean, I wouldn't be who I am today. The first stock car race of 2018 is green. Here we go from Daytona. Some years ago when I was sitting in the Arabian Gulf, uh, you know, never would have thought that I'd be sitting here at Daytona. It just takes a lot of effort, a lot of grind, and never quitting. There was many times I wanted to quit. I wrecked out of six of my first seven races. After each one, I could have easily been like, why am I doing this still, quit. But I told myself, no, it's gonna get better. Went to my fourth race, wrecked again. Now it's gonna get better. Got to my fifth, wrecked again. Now it's gonna get better. Got to my sixth, and wrecked again. Like you're, you're in it, you're in the thick of it, and you have got to just tough through it.
the amount of confidence I've been able to gain, the way I can attack the goals. I learned a lot of it in the Navy, and I was not going to be able to do that if I wasn't. You got to begin walking and keep walking and start running, keep grinding. Even when you trip and fall, you get up and you go. Anytime someone tells you you can't, look the other way and you keep going. My name is Lieutenant Jesse Iwuji, and I'm a surface warfare officer in the United States Navy.